Today I'm going to teach you how we administer an EpiPen in the event of an anaphylactic reaction. Common signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis include difficulty breathing, excessive swelling, particularly in this sort of region here, uh, vomiting and your signs and symptoms of shock. Always follow doctors A, B, C, D. Ensure the person is laying down, that you've removed the allergen and that an ambulance is on the way. Locate the EpiPen and check the use by date and make sure that the liquid inside is clear and get consent from the casualty. You wanna kneel down beside them, pressing your thighs into their leg. You wanna pull the other leg in towards you. Pat the pockets along and remove any seams so that they're out of this central line here. You wanna find halfway between the hip and the kneecap on the outside of the thigh. Grip the EpiPen monkey grip, no thumbs on ends. Line it up so that the orange part is to the mid outside of the thigh, halfway between the hip and the knee. Remove the blue cap, hold the leg down and push in until it clicks. One, two, three. After three seconds, you can remove the EpiPen Blue cap goes back on, and this goes above the person's head. You need to record the time that you administered the EpiPen, because in five minutes, if they're no better or they've deteriorated, you can give a second EpiPen in the opposite leg. If the patient is really having difficulty breathing, you can make sure that they're slightly elevated to take some of the pressure off their chest region. And if they're actively vomiting, you can roll them sideways into the recovery position. Stay with them and monitor them until the ambulance arrives.